guys, it's Ann popping on behind my apron. I am starting dinner. We are making one of our really popular recipes, which is nacho chowder. And I have it started here on the stove top. I am using the Dutch oven rock crock. I've talked about this piece a lot because as you can see, I'm starting it right on top of the stove. I'm gonna use the famous mix and chop. In here so far, I have ground beef, onions, and a diced jalapeno pepper. And I'm just browning that um, to get it all browned. Once I do get all the ingredients and all of this put together, I will put it in the Rock Crack slow cooker base and then just keep it warm until we're ready to eat because I think chowders take a while to blend all the flavors. So this is definitely one of those. And, and sitting in here right now though, I do want to also show you, this is the smaller size Rock Crack called the Everyday Pan. And why do I love these? Because they are a piece of cookware, but they also are more versatile because they can go inside the oven, inside the microwave, inside your grill, um, in your dishwasher. And I'm really, really kind of sad to announce this smaller one called the Everyday Pan, which I absolutely love for doing things like smoked queso, half batches of soup, um, chicken breast with rice in the oven. That one is retiring. So for all of you rock crack lovers out here with me, um, you need to get this little one now. But the base makes it like a crock pot too. So I forgot to mention that. So while the hamburger's browning, I'm just gonna tell you what else goes in this recipe. So I drained the um, black beans. I have a can of Rotel that I also drained. I have some freezer sweet corn that's gonna go in it. In fact, I'm gonna add a couple cloves of garlic right now. I have my garlic press here, so I'm just popping the cloves out, leave the skin on, putting it in the press. I'm gonna squeeze that right over the ground meat so it can start cooking. See all the garlic coming out of there? So if you don't have a good press, I would encourage you to get one because then you don't have to skin all the garlic. So we're adding the garlic now. And then we're going to add cheddar cheese soup. We're gonna add some beef broth. We're gonna actually add some Velveeta cheese and cheddar cheese. We're gonna add chili powder, some regular salt and pepper, and then at the end, it all gets blended together with half and half. So yeah, if you're a New Year's cook and you're cutting calories, that's probably not the recipe to cut out um, or to make, I should say, flip that around. But it is so delicious and it's just a great kind of comfort food as the temperature got a little bit colder again. And so uh, take your time with it, brown the meat with the onions and peppers, and then make sure you drain that off before you start adding all the rest of the ingredients. So um, in the comments, you guys, if you have a rock crack already, what do you make in it most often and what size do you have? Um, if you're cooking dinner tonight, what are you making? I wanna know those kinds of things in the comments because that makes it a lot more fun. But for those of you that want the specifics on the um, recipe, I can also, I'll take a picture of it. It's in my second harvest cookbook. It's a family recipe. So if you need that, I can get you one of those as well. But it's called nacho chowder. So enjoy it at your house. See you soon.